Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the CFF Racing Show, powered by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Dwayne Hewlett. Thanks for joining us here tonight. I am live at 34 Raceway, the all-star circuit of champions. You might be able to hear them in the background already on the racetrack for hot laps here tonight. Had a little trouble getting online for you, so I apologize for that. I had Bill here from the National Sprint Car Hall of Fame talking about how to win a Corvette. They're actually giving away a trip to Australia and a trip to uh, or a Corvette away during the Knoxville Nationals in a couple weeks. He starts 13 straight days of uh, of work at the National Sprint Car Hall of Fame this week, so it's going to be a long, long week for him, or a couple of weeks, I should say. But I was able to catch up with a few people. Hopefully you're able to enjoy this as we get ready to go here, and if you're not able to watch uh, in person, a good crowd here tonight at 34 Raceway, though, and uh, I'll get Bill back maybe at the post-race show to talk a little bit more about what he's got going on at the National Sprint Car Hall of Fame. But for those local folks that are wondering how Ryan Jamison is doing, I was able to catch up with him a little bit earlier as he was still healing up from an incident here at 34 Raceway earlier this year. So we'll take a step away and let you hear what Ryan Jamison had to say during his interview just a little bit ago in the pit area as he's got a uh, driver driving his 51J tonight. Now, so uh, I think rather than push it, I'm just going to keep up and do my therapy and come back strong as I can. Well, your real life job's farming and it's kind of hard to do that on one leg. Yeah, that, that was a real mess here this spring. Um, guys actually got started a little bit, and then we had a day and a half there in, in May we could go, in which we tried, and I still had to keep it elevated and all that kind of stuff, try the tractor, you know. But uh, Tyron had done there June, mid June, and uh, it, it worked out. It's, you know, you don't you don't get a chance to uh, to lay up, or, so to speak, like you're supposed to. So maybe it took a little longer. I think the, the wound clinic is gonna uh, give me the go away here this week, and uh, from there it'll probably just be a lot of therapy, you know. But well, you got a pretty good shoe behind the wheel, though. Matt does a pretty good job. Oh, doesn't yeah, he? and this track here, you know, growed up here. And Dad's been here. I mean, you know, he knows his way around this joint. Uh, sure, we have a little more horsepower tonight. Um, we're going to lack a little to some of these guys in the 12 motor, but it, I, I, and we don't care. It's, 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 we're going to, if we get slick, and I hope it ain't heavy like it was last time here. If, we, if it slicks off, this guy here, uh, <laughs> we get a heat ever know, you know, dark horses might come riding on in. <laughs> All right. Well, I know that everybody is, will be excited to see you back in a car. So even if it's not this year, hopefully we'll see you next year. Oh, yeah. You're going to take more minutes to get this guy out. So. <laughs> All right. Thanks. All right. Take care. That was Ryan Jamison talking to us a little bit ago uh, here in the pit area at 34 Raceway. Of course, he's got uh, a pretty good shoe and mat behind the wheel of that car tonight. As I said, hot laps are under, underway. It's a little quiet now. During that interview, they were actually going uh, pretty hot and heavy as the All-Star Circuit of Champions are out there. They'll have qualifying yet to come, and then they will do their heat races and features. Of course, they have the IMCA stock cars on hand here tonight as well. So it should be a great night of racing. Shouldn't be too late. Should get done at a pretty decent hour. Still got time to get out here and watch all the great racing action tonight. If you're seeing this and you're within a half hour or so of 34 Raceway, make sure you get out here, get your ticket, and enjoy the show. A lot of cars in the pit area and a lot of cars in the parking lot. So it's a good night so far. Next up, uh, we're able to catch up with uh, Kevin Swindell. He's had Christopher Bell driving his car tonight. He's got uh, his dad on the front row of the uh, Kings Royal last weekend. So a lot of uh, great things going on for uh, Speed Del uh, Swindell Speed Lab. So here's what he had to say a little bit ago in a pit area here at 34 Raceway. Kind of the pack we've been able to, to go good with works here and uh, you know, have a good night. I know that you and your dad have made a really good name for yourself and you see a lot of Swindell Speed Lab hats, shirts, and stuff around. Tell us a little bit about what you're trying to do with that. Uh, I mean, we really just kind of, I don't even really know. After I got hurt, we just, uh, we didn't want something that was named racing and or just the normal, so we kind of went out of the box and uh, it just kind of caught on a little bit and, uh, you know, been able to just kind of snowball it into a lot of stuff ever since. So uh, it's been good. It's allowed us a lot of freedom to, to do more and, uh, Hopefully, it keeps growing. What can what can fans expect to see from you guys in the future? I mean, you're having some success with the car. You know, you still got your dad's running well. Christopher's running well with you. What's what's your plans? Do you guys have plans, or are you just kind of doing the outlaw thing, sort of speak, and just picking and choosing what you want to yeah, do? Just, or? just kind of whatever. You know, um, 
and obviously it's whenever Bell can race is a lot of it and then um, you know dad still fell apart and that kind of just landed in our lap to, to do these races that, that Bell couldn't so uh, it's been good you know it's, it's worked out well and we've kind of just played it by ear as we've gone and, and everything's really worked out so just uh, you're not really worried about being exact on anything and, and just uh, race as much as we can and, and try to be as successful as we can and it seems like if you force yourself to run 50, 60, 70 nights a year, you just get to a point where you're worn down, your stuff's worn down, and this and that, and um, it just kind of takes the fun out of it. So um, it just put us in a position where we could try to just enjoy it, and, and that's what we've been doing. I know that in 2005, I did a paper down in Florida when you were coming into your own sort of sort of and started was winning some races. Your dad was really proud of you. You've obviously had your accident but you've done some good things for yourself since then with this ride and putting things together how cool is it now for you to be able to put your dad in the seat it's neat you know we've we got to race a couple times last couple years here and there and uh, you know, always had little goofy trouble and stuff so uh, getting a good king's royal in with him and, and getting him a good shot at that race again was was a lot of fun and, and just trying to put him in, in good spots because you know, I don't know how many more of them he's gonna get. So uh, it's been fun, and you know, we know our stuff's good, and, and to kind of put him in places where he can really succeed, and then hopefully really just enjoy his time. And a lot of time, I think he, he ends up working too hard on a lot of this stuff, and he doesn't even enjoy it. So uh, just kind of let him enjoy it. The guy has been doing it as long as he has. At this point, you gotta find things you can enjoy with it, don't you? <laughs> yeah, he's. Uh, He's busted his ass for a long time of just, you know, doing and doing and going to this guy's stuff and, uh, you know, having to start over or rebuild stuff or this and that. So I tried to just make him a driver for, uh, for once. All right. Well, good luck tonight and good luck the rest of the year. Thank you. So that was Kevin Swindell talking about uh, spending some time with his dad and also having Christopher Bell behind the wheel of his machine. Here tonight, he's had him behind the wheel in quite a few shows uh, recently. As I said, a lot of weather. Of course, the weather's affected everybody this year, it seems like, all across the country. So we're moving on as we're moving through qualifying and hot, or I should say hot laps, as it's quiet. It's been working perfect here so far, but it's quiet right now as the cars are pushing off for another session of hot laps. We were able to catch up with uh, Paul Neenheiser. Neenheiser's got a win this weekend and a fifth-place finish with the MOA Series on Friday and Saturday night, respectively. So here's what Paul had to say about his weekend and what he hopes to accomplish here tonight at 34 Raceway with the All-Stars. Here, so there will definitely be a, and there is a tough field of cars here tonight. So qualifying is important, getting through our heat race, and just you know, like I said, set ourselves up and hopefully be there for something to happen at the end. Is that be a pretty big check? You've had a real up and down year. You've won a lot of races and you've tore up a few cars and had a couple pretty scary wrecks lately. Yeah, really. I wouldn't say it's been up and down. It was up, 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 and then just two really bad nights in a row. So. Um, it's been a couple long weeks in the shop, and uh, we had a win here Friday night, so we already got one this weekend, and uh, just looking for the big one here tonight. So uh, I think the rest of the year will go just fine. We got our equipment back together, and uh, just keep plugging away. Well, All Stars have been running, but you ran MOA the last two nights, got a win in Jacksonville Friday. I was told I wasn't at MOA's race last night. I just heard it was a kind of a bottom lane track, but you passed a lot of cars. So. You went from 19th to 5th, is that what I saw? Oh, at Macon? Yeah, yeah at Macon yeah, last we, night. It was uh, rubber down there, so I had about six laps to get through the field and pass a lot of cars in a hurry, so it was a good run for us. Would have liked to have won that one too, but um, you know, we're in one piece, ready to go here tonight, didn't have to work too hard today, and uh, just uh, ready to go. I remember there was a time at Jacksonville with MOA that you just had kind of a monkey on your back. You just yeah. couldn't get a win at Jacksonville. That's really changed. You've had quite a bit of success there lately. Yeah, I think the last couple of years I've only lost a couple, three or four races there and won six or seven, I think. So it's been good to me lately. Their first little bit, you know, being in the hometown and having all our local friends and sponsors and everybody there just seemed like it just kicked my ass every single time. So it's been nice to kind of get a little redemption and we've been really strong. So unfortunately the outlaw race raining out, I was looking forward to that. We were starting pretty good in the A main there and uh, in the all-star race too. So two of the biggest shows rained out there this year. But again, we've been very fast, pretty successful and uh, just looking forward to the rest of the year. So you said qualifying is the key. Anytime you qualify, qualifying is important. Do you think this place will slick off tonight? I know they're going to try and race some weather, it sounds like. Uh, yeah, I mean, just based on where we're at, you know, a couple hours from home, um, 
the, the tracks have been pretty dry the last couple weeks. So if they got enough water on it, who knows. But we thankfully drew a good pill if it did draw uh, dry out early. And um, the way their format works, the quickest couple qualifiers transfer into their heat, not in the top two make the dash. And that's pretty important to be in the front five rows here tonight. So my plan is just to get a couple good laps down. Whatever happens, happens. If we got to race our way in, we'll do that. And um, just uh, I think we'll be all right. So. Well, good luck tonight. Thank right. you. Thank you. So that's Paul Neenheiser and what he had to say. That's going to do it for our post or pre-race show. We plan to be back with a post-race show, maybe an interview with the winner and uh, maybe a couple other people who run well throughout the night, but that'll be a little bit after the races are completed here tonight at 34 Raceway. Don't forget, there is still a little bit of time if you want to come out here tonight to 34 Raceway. Not done with hot laps yet. Stock cars have not been out the hot lap, and, of course, we still got time trials for the all-star sprint cars tonight here at 34 Raceway. Uh, Sammy Swindell is here, not racing tonight, as Christopher Bell's got the 39 ride. Uh, Casey Kane scheduled to be in the house. He's here with the number nine machine. Uh, Tony Stewart is here with his 14 machine. He's scheduled to race tonight, I do believe. Uh, Brian Brown is in the house, and of course there's a whole host of others in the house tonight to do battle here at 34 Raceway for $26,000 and uh, we'll see who takes away the biggest check in 34 Raceway history is leaving to one person tonight. It's the biggest top seat, top purse that they've given out. Maybe the biggest one they give out in a long, long time. $26,000 is a lot of money. So thanks for joining us here on the pre-race show. Hope you liked and enjoyed hearing from Ryan Jamison and Kevin Swindell and everybody else. So we will look forward to uh, talking to you after the race. See ya.